Well, it's a drug affecting more and more lives in Arizona. Five people die every day from opioid overdoses in our state. And fentanyl is the most common drug involved in those overdoses, according to the state health department. It's both a public health issue and a criminal justice issue. Team 12's Colleen Sakura taking a look at how the candidates for Maricopa County Attorney view exactly what their role would be in the fight. Both recognize it's a problem that's growing, affecting community safety and people's lives. Both are focused on solutions, but would take different approaches. If a word could describe the problem. It's, it's devastating. Kim Humphrey, CEO of Parents of Addicted Loved Ones, sees it too. We see at least two thirds probably of the people that are coming to the meeting and their loved one has had some issue with fentanyl. And the Maricopa County Attorney's Office says they're seeing more cases involving the synthetic opioid. And what we're seeing, not only seeing more cases, but we're seeing larger numbers of uh, those pills. On Friday, the Phoenix Police Department saying they seized the largest amount of pills in department history and over the weeks have found pills increasingly disguised as other things from other drugs to candy that can take someone's life with just one. Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell, a Republican who's running to maintain the seat this November, says while crimes need to be addressed, so does addiction. She looks at the problem in three categories, people who are addicted, those addicted in selling drugs and drug traffickers. We have people who are simply earning money off of transporting and selling fentanyl to very vulnerable people. And, and that's a completely different category and that needs to be treated much more severely than the, the first two. MCAO saying a new felony diversion pilot program funded through marijuana tax revenue will address opioid use disorder as part of their Family Violence Bureau. Democrat Julie Gunnigal. I, I suppose the biggest question is how much incarceration does it take to make somebody not addicted? Says her focus, if she wins in November, would be on diversion, treatment, and education. According to August data from the Arizona Department of Corrections, nearly 82% of inmates have, quote, significant substance abuse histories. Currently, only 509 inmates are in an addiction treatment program out of more than 33,000 inmates. Gunnigal believes it's less about the supply of the drug as it is about those addicted to it. When you start getting at the demand through treatment programs, through diversion, through deflection programs, and through real education efforts, that's when you're going to see progress. And for families like Humphreys, this is more than a political issue. It's a people one. There's consequences for committing uh, crimes. There's consequences for bad actions. But there's also, hopefully, a part of you that understands that this individual needs some help. This individual needs treatment. Humphrey adds that he doesn't know a parent that doesn't talk to their kids about not taking drugs. And he says his advice to parents is to help kids understand that there are consequences, even pretty serious life altering consequences to the decisions that they make. Because of the issue of fentanyl, the Maricopa County Attorney's Office is hosting a parents forum at Independence High School in Glendale next week. We've got details on that in the 12 News app. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.